All right, guys, we're going to get started uh, doing the mole to mole ratio lab on page 816. Um, before we start the lab, going over just a little bit of materials of what we need. Uh, what we're going to be using today is the chemicals we're going to be using is we're going to be using good old baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate. And we are going to be using acetic acid, which acetic acid is just vinegar. And what we're going to do today is we're going to relate and use this chemical reaction when we mix baking soda and acetic acid and we're going to use it in our stoichiometry equation. Now some other things that we need for the experiment we need an evaporating dish, okay, this one right here and this is what the chemical reaction is going to take place in and we're going to use this big contact lens looking thing uh, called a watch, watch glass as um, a lid for our evaporating dish. It's going to put on like this and what's going to happen is when we heat it it's just going to keep uh, some of the solid uh, sodium acetate from jumping out of it in the reaction. Okay. Now uh, we're going to have to do some calculations and we're going to have to take some measurements along the way. So the first thing that we're going to take a measurement of is we're going to take our evaporating dish and our watch glass and we're going to take those and put it on our balance and we're going to get the mass of those. So we take the mass of it and we see that we have a mass of 108.49 grams. And we're going to measure to the hundredths place. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take weigh boat, put it on our balance and zero it out. So now that it has um, a mass of zero and we're going to take our sodium bicarbonate and we are going to add two grams the sodium of sodium bicarbonate in the weigh boat. So we measure it out and we get it right at about two grams of sodium bicarbonate. We're going to take um, the acetic acid, which is vinegar, and we are going to measure out 25 milliliters of vinegar in a graduated cylinder. And for this I'm going to use pour the big bottle into a smaller bottle before I transfer. Okay, now I'm going to measure it out and go ahead and measure 25 milliliters of it. And it's not really important that we get exactly 25 milliliters of it because this is going to be our limiting reagent, which we'll talk about later in class, is not going to be the acetic acid, the limiting reagent is a sodium bicarbonate. So it's really not hugely important that we get exactly 25 milliliters, but we do want to get close. Now we're going to take our sodium bicarbonate, add it to our watch glass, or add it to our evaporating dish. We're going to put our watch glass on top, and then we're going to take another measurement of everything put together. And we measure this, and it is two grams heavier, and we get 110.49. Now, the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to add the acetic acid to the sodium bicarbonate. And when we add it, what we, what we should see, we should see some bubbles. Those bubbles are carbon dioxide and those bubbles indicate that there's a chemical reaction taking place. So we're going to go ahead and add slowly the 25 milliliters of acetic acid to the sodium bicarbonate. Now that we've added all of our acetic acid to the sodium bicarbonate, all we're going to do is just stir it a little bit and make sure that we don't see any more bubbles. Okay? meaning the bubbles, meaning the carbon dioxide. If there's no more carbon dioxide being produced, that means that the chemical reaction has been completely reacted and there's nothing left to react. So now, in that chemical reaction, what we've just done is we have created and changed um, acetic acid and sodium bicarbonate, and we've made sodium acetate. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put it on our wire gauze pad 
and we're going to heat it with a Bunsen burner and we're going to evaporate all of the excess vinegar and any water that's in there. We're going to evaporate it all and it's going to come off as steam and what we should be left with when we're done is sodium acetate in a solid form. So what we're going to see form on the very top of it, we're going to see um, just a solid white substance form on the top of the watch glass and on the bottom of the evaporating dish.